Hey everybody, so this is the 2018 Colorado Teardrop Trailer that I have for sale online. I wanted to make a quick video about it to tell you a little bit more. I bought this in February of 2019 uh, and immediately made some upgrades to it before I went out to the desert southwest uh, in March. Um, all the work was done by Fusion Works Fabrication here in Huntsville, Alabama. I uh, first upgraded the suspension uh, with a much heavier duty axle as well as matching the wheel pattern to my Toyota. I have a Toyota 4Runner. Um, also added an additional two and a half inches of height to the trailer to match the height of my 4Runner which has an Icon Stage 7 suspension. Um, and then lastly added electric brakes to it. Also as you can see I added gas cans to the side. Uh, I wanted an additional 10 gallons of gas. Um, uh, to carry. I carry 10 gallons on my 4Runner but wanted uh, an additional 10 gallons. Um, so I also added a, uh, a a trailer box on the front. I wanted additional storage. I also wanted to carry a uh, gas generator. So I, I had a Honda 2200 in here uh, and, and Fusion Works put on some additional attachment points for me to keep it steady. Um, I also carried a chainsaw in there. Also included in the sale are uh, three manual tools for cutting branches and trees, as well as digging yourself out. Another big addition that they made for me is uh, putting on a, a motorcycle support. Uh, so I have a dirt bike. It's a motoped survival bike um, that I put on here, and, uh, and they welded this on for me. Not going to come off. They also made a uh, custom ramp for me um, that uh, it's longer than your normal uh, ramp off the shelf. Uh, since I was by myself, I wanted to uh, have something at a little slighter angle um, that I could that it would be easier to handle with one person. Another huge improvement that we made to it is putting on a longer tongue and then putting on a lock and roll suspension. Um, this lock and roll has been fantastic. It doesn't have the same slam uh, on the on a trailer hitch as you normally get with a trailer. Um, there's almost zero play in it and uh, it, it's really like moving one big vehicle instead of a vehicle in a trailer. It's really nice. Um, up here you see that there is a there's a plug for plugging in the trailer and charging the battery which I'll show you in a second. Um, all of the accessories on top uh, can be purchased separately. They don't come with the unit. What does come with the unit are the crossbars um, and, uh, and I had put a cargo rack and a cargo uh, unit and um, a kayak uh, holder, which I carried my Jackson kayak on and an Alu Cab awning. Um, there is an awning that does come with this unit. It's just a straight awning, not a 270 awning like the Alu Cab. Um, moving around, uh, and another, uh, just showing the exterior features, another uh, gas can on this side, um, and, uh, and then moving back to the galley. So the galley uh, is uh, uh, I, I put some baskets in, I found some baskets that fit really well in the galley uh, and some, some holders for additional items. What is great about this particular galley is that this, I put, I put 14 gallons of water over here, but you can put a fridge uh, or a cooler, either one. Um, uh, and the battery is back here, and I love this battery because this, this is a Yeti 1000. Um, the Yeti battery uh, is fantastic because it lasted me two weeks at a time without recharge running all of the lights in the unit. Um, and that was every night. Uh, so uh, the great thing about the Yeti is also that you can take it out to a picnic area. You can actually like remove it from the unit and take it out and listen to music or uh, plug in whatever you want to. It has 120 volt outlets as well as 12 volt outlets. The stove uh, comes with the unit. I never used it. I had a stove in my 4Runner uh, as well as a, a, a fridge, so I didn't need a fridge back here. Um, and then moving around to the side, it's a there's an 11 pound propane tank uh, for this or if you have an external shower or something like that. Inside the unit is a queen size bed. Uh, I put a couple shelves and, uh, and a couple hooks for coats or fly swatters or whatever you want. Um, and then uh, I also added a few items uh, to the shelves. These uh, baskets took a while to, to find. 
Um, they're not typically sized, they're, but they fit perfectly in this unit. And no matter how much off-road I did, they did not fall off. Um, I also added just a couple of homey touches. Um, the lights here, there's a light here. Uh, there's also a light on, the, on, the, on this side. And then there's this big light. Uh, I actually only needed to use one of these lights at a time, really. They're super bright. They're all LEDs. Um, you know, the roof is, uh, is wood. Uh, it's a total wood panel interior. Underneath here uh, is um, storage, additional storage. So, uh, so you have, I think it's about three or four inches deep. Um, and so you can put all sorts of little stuff. I put clothes and additional books down there. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, but I hope that was helpful just to give you an idea of, the, of, of what you're buying. Um, thanks for looking.